I know someone's panicking right now, like, oh my god, oh my god, you messed it up! Hi, it's Kendall here, what's up, welcome back to the channel. This is the first time in a minute where I'm doing a K-pop inspired makeup tutorial. And probably the first time that I've ever just like sat here and did it instead of doing like voiceovers. Because recently I've noticed that you guys kind of like me just sitting here and like rambling with you guys. So, okay, I always have... A whole lot of nothing to say. So I went to Twitter and I asked you guys, what are some like K-pop makeup stuff that has been like tickling your pickle recently? Pretty much everybody and their mama was like, we want something for bad boy from Red Velvet. And I'm like, okay. Who do you want from Red Velvet? And everybody's like, Sugi. And I was like, okay. So that's what we're doing today. So I'm excited because I actually really did like the makeup, the whole feel and the vibe behind that uh, video. Y'all know how I feel about red blush. If you don't know, I feel very strongly about red blush. Love it. Also, I'm excited because I have a bunch of new products that I want to try out and also products that I just don't use enough that would be really, really great for this video. So, excited. Gonna try to use as much K-beauty as possible because you know, I love to. Anyway, if you're new around here and you want to join the family, we're, we're pretty dang dope around here. Pretty dang dope. If you like this video or you like this concept, if you like K-pop makeup, if you like her favorite, whatever you like, don't forget to like this video because apparently that matters. And also subscribe because we're a big, happy, messy family here. So we'd love to have you. So like I said, I have a bunch of new products that I want to try out and I wanted to do this on camera and they just happen to fit pretty well with the aesthetic of today's aesthetic. I got quite a large box of just stuff from Botanic Farms. The things that are under my eyes right now are Salmon Egg Hydrogel Eye Patch. I've never been a huge fan of these like eye patch thingies in the past um, because they were just so friggin' dry <laughs> and they felt pointless, like they had no anything on them. And then there were just these like kind of plasticky films instead of like a like a cotton or coconut gel. Some of the coconut gel ones are like this, but um, this, this is dope because, oh man, I wish I would have recorded earlier. But these are wet, sopping, moist. <laughs> so because of that, they're actually effective in the sense that even if they don't like brighten my under eye, I've only used it once, so there's no way for me to tell in that regard. But you see how like moist and stuff my skin looks? My skin doesn't look like any different after I used other ones and I ended up throwing the other ones away. And now that I can compare them to this ones, I like these a lot better. Like you hear that? <laughs> oh my god, I'm so gross. I'm so childish. So yeah, my skin is nice and moist under my eyes. I like around my nose. I probably should have put one on my nose too. I'm gonna use my Innisfree Youth Orchid Cream. This has been my go-to cream recently, which is nice. It's really, really, really moisturizing. So I'm gonna put this on my nose, like just my nose. Okay, I'm looking at Sergi's makeup as we speak and she's looking pretty matte. She's not looking very like glowy and vibrant in this particular part of the video. So I will also go matte, even though it's not my favorite thing to do. So to aid in that, I'm gonna be using another product from Botanic Farm. This one is the Soft Cover Pore Balm Primer. Please ignore my nails. I did them yesterday when I was half asleep. And when I went to sleep, I put one hand under my boob and then it squished my nail polish. This is the first time I'm using this. It has absolutely no smell, which is kind of nice because I've had primers that tend to be quite fragrant. This is an interesting texture. It's like really stiff, actually. I expected it to be more like moussey. Ooh, that's an interesting feeling. It's so light. That's weird. <laughs> I kind of like it, but do you see how it just like took away all the shine of my moisturizer though? What pores? I wonder, man, is this gonna take the place of my pore blend? I will say though, the thing that's kind of annoying about this is the jar format. I don't love it. And since it's so solid, it's like hard to get anything out unless you like dig a nail in. Can't help but question how sanitary that is. But as far as like the feel on the skin, that's really nice actually. Can't really tell until I put foundation on. So let's do that. So far so good. I recommend that one. Ooh, they also sent an illuminating primer. Well, I can't use this because today's is a very matte look, but I'll try this later. Okay, foundation. I've been switching up my foundation like situation recently and I've been really enjoying it. And it's basically all drugstore right now. So that's like, save me some money. I'm gonna be using Kalahari Sand by Black Opal. This is one of their foundation sticks. This is quite light. And I'm gonna put this in the center parts of my face under the eye, quite full of coverage. And it's very, very matte. I'm putting that in the center parts of my face. 
Okay. And then over that, I'm putting my Holy Grail. I don't ever want to be without it. I don't ever want to live without it. I have three different shades of it. <laughs> and I'm keeping every one of them because one is for summer, one is for in between summer and, and winter, and one is for now. Milani, two in one foundation. And I'm in shade 10 golden tan because I am quite pale right now due to the winter that cometh forth for us. It's quite thick and, dare I say, Tasty. Yes, honey, she's she's covered. If you're going for the K-pop thing, ideally you are going for like, oh, you don't even have pores. Like you don't have just the natural things that skin does. So that's the thing I'm going for right now. But weirdly enough, the coverage is really, really high, but it still looks like skin. It doesn't look like a mask necessarily, especially when I get around to blending it on my neck. When we get to the highlighted areas, I'm just gently blending it down and even blending it into that area because I want it to all just melt together. There to be any confusion. I want everyone to be friends, get along. We're gonna be spending the entire day on each other. I'm gonna go back in with the foundation stick under the eye just one more time. I don't think I need a separate concealer. Now we're gonna finish up with a little bit of shading or contouring, whatever you like to call it. This is my new favorite contouring everything. This is another foundation from Black Opal and this is an Au Chocolat, as everyone was telling me I was pronouncing wrong the last time I used it, okay. For the um, whole contour situation, we're gonna go on the forehead, a little bit. Not that it matters, because I'm gonna have bangs, so. On the sides of the nose, the top of the nose, under the mouth, and then up the side of the jaw, and the side down the face. So up the jaw and down the face. And we need to do this to get your double chin. I do it sometimes. It's like no harm, no foul. Okay, and then we will commence to do the blending to give us that very like sharp, like snatched. Sun. I don't really want the color to like leave this immediate area though. That's where I want it. So I'm just gonna pat it circularly and bring it a little bit inward, but I kind of like it to be where I said to go. I'm a control freak. And because these are foundation colors, they just blend in really well and they look quite skin-like. So yes, I'm, I'm happy. It's time for a powder situation, a powder sensation, the pony effect finishing powder mattifying powder. I haven't used this in a while, so I figured I should use it. It's mad dirty. I need to get rid of stuff, so I'm gonna go back and use products that I haven't used that much recently. And it's almost gone. It's one of those translucent finishing powders. I use this in all over my face, because again, Sergi had quite matte skin. I'll put that over my eyelid as well. Okay, now let's start on my favorite part. Putting on too much blush. One of my favorite things ever is to put on a whole lot of red blush, a whole lot of pink blush, and I'm just really excited for this endeavor that we're about to take together. Sergey has like a giant, like triangle of like a pinky ready blush on, and I'm with it. In an effort to make everything look really, really, really blended and not too patchy, however, I am gonna use a bit of like a pink cream blush first before I put on anything red. This is also from Botanic Farms. This is in Berry Pink. It's like a cream blush and it has that kind of just slightly neon undertone. Ooh, this is mad pigmented. Okay, this is the first time I ever use it on my face. So let's see how things go. Under my eye, so not a whole lot like in this area, but I'm gonna start here and then blend it out in like a general triangle triangular thing. You'll see what I'm doing, just just, just follow along. Even though I've powdered, if you are um, using a cream product and patting it, it doesn't matter. So I don't know why people would say, you can't do that. I'm like, why not? I've literally always done it and it's never been an issue. Going inward and outward in that like triangle, triangular shape. I don't know if it's the primer or what, but I have like no pores. Like those foundations are quite thick anyway, but I don't think they were this smooth. So I'm, I am I might dare say that I like the primer. I usually don't pr like primers for those of you that have been around for a while. I tend to talk a lot of crap about primers, but hey. Also this blush is pretty, Jesus. I'm trying to be careful, not go 
too close to like the under part of my nose because then it starts to look like you got a cold or an allergy or something. And now we need red blush because everything deserves red blush. I'm gonna use 3CE Alluring because it looks like the blush that she's wearing has a little bit of like a bluish undertone or is that just light? I don't know. This one has the slightest like bluey cool tone. So girl, she's pigmented. I know someone's panicking right now like, oh my God, oh my God, you messed it up. No, it's okay. Well, like it's, it's really okay. <laughs> but I just want to get the intensity where I want it. And then again, blending out. Kendall, this is not a look. It will be, just trust in the process. Don't judge the painting until it's over, my dog. My dude, really want that redness to come through because we have one more layer of powder that I wanna do. Now I'm gonna take two powders. I'm gonna take one that is closer to my skin tone, albeit a little lighter, that'll dull this down. And one that is way lighter, that'll keep the brightness under my eyes. So I'm gonna take the lighter one, go under my eye, and then by default, a little bit on the blush to tone down this upper part. So it's like blurring up the top part. I'm gonna take the powder that's a little bit closer to me. By the way, this powder is the Maybelline Better Skin Natural Beige. And then this is the Black Radiance True Complexion Finishing Powder in Golden Almond. So this has quite a yellow undertone. And then I'm gonna go over basically the rest of the blush. And then compare the two sides. Look like I got punched in the face. Still looks like I got punched in the face, but it looks more like it was intentional. More of a look. Okay, her eyebrows look like there's basically nothing in her eyebrows um, other than like really light powder. And for me, I have a lot of eyebrows, so I'm not even gonna put anything in my eyebrows. Peach Orange from Botanic Farms. These kind of like warm, goldy, orangey colors. Take this matte beige right here and this brown. And basically, I'm gonna put that on my eyes with a little bit of eyeliner. I'll show you how. Going to take a little bit of that beige color and going to kind of set my lid. I'm also gonna use a little bit of that and put it under the brow bone just because why not? This is the Misha Palette Paint Liner and I'm going to make a thin line on the top of my eye. I'm gonna start with the outer corner. My liner brush still had makeup on it. No pun intended, we'll wing it. Anyway, gonna go really thin as possible on the upper lash line. I guess it doesn't matter all that much if you mess up a little bit. Okay, our, our line is gonna be a little longer, a little thicker. And of course, one eye comes out better than the other. What can you do? That's life. But it does not matter because we're gonna be putting some cute little red stuff at the bottom. It'll cover it up, it'll be cute. Before we do that, we're gonna take the brown over the black line and kind of smudge it ever so slightly up. I don't want like a smoky eye. I want it to still be relatively clean on the lid, but I just want it to be a little bit smokier in the liner department. Mmm, -hmm. that was probably too much makeup on the upper lid, but it's hard to tell because her eyes are like this, so whatever. Anyway, but I know there's red stuff at the bottom, so let's do the red stuff. This is VT Daily Palette, Pink Breeze. Take a tiny wee little brush and go into the second color. And tap that lightly all along the lash line. Then this top pink one, very lightly at the can't think of the English word. Luna mori, like the inner corner <laughs> part. Now we'll take the bright red. The red's a little disappointing. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do instead. I don't know if you're supposed to do this. I'm almost positive you're not supposed to because that might irritate your eyes, but. This is a Melting Heart Two-Tone Lip Tint Balm. To number two, I'm gonna take a little bit of this like red tint, probably a terrible idea, under to kind of like 
get something for the red to stick to. Everyone has like a good eye and a bad eye. I'm coming to realize that this today is the good eye. So we're gonna ignore everything on this side, just completely. All pictures will be taken from this side only. I am Mariah carrying this tutorial. I was, okay, I was starting to flip out. I was like, wait, did she not have a liner this entire time? No, she has a thick liner. Oh, she, okay, never mind. She has a thick liner. She has mono lids. <laughs> that is why. This is the makeup, but our eye shapes are different. So obviously, our makeup's gonna look different. Pro Fix Mascara from Etude House. I remember the first time I went to Korea and I didn't realize that Etude House was pronounced Etude. In Korea, so I was like, where's the Etude house to everybody? And nobody knew what I was talking about. Etude, the big pink place with the makeup. And they were like, oh, Etude. Now for the lips, because the lips are the most important part because her lips are a really pretty color and I'm trying to like get that aesthetic, get that feeling, get that mukim, if you will. That same like balm before. Her lips are very matte, but my lips are so dry right now that I kind of feel like I'm just gonna do this first even though I shouldn't. I'm gonna use this for the, ooh. It's one of those like two-tone balm things, yeah? And I was gonna use it mostly for the, the balm aesthetic, but okay. Use the So Lip Fix from So Natural. Strong red, strong red. Okay. This is not the color I thought it'd be, so. Okay guys, I'm sorry, it was a struggle. I was gonna throw this entire tutorial away. It wasn't looking good. I didn't know what was happening. And like on camera, everything is like so much more exaggeratedly bad. I applied the Labio Wine Tint in color RDO2, which was cute, but still not deep enough. Labio product, this is RDO1, one of the tints. And that's like a lot more of a deeper matte color. So I put like a thin layer of that over everything. I was focusing more on like the inner part and the outer corner. I still want more, I'm sorry guys. I know this is this is the worst tutorial ever. I'm all over the place, but I still want more red under my eye. So I'm gonna take the lipstick I was talking about before. Outer part of my eye plus, love plus, yes. Love plus from Sugar Pill. Just gonna take the tiniest bit of that just to punch up Give me the red I want. There it, oh. there it goes. Yeah, there it is. I was gonna throw the whole story away. Now that everything's there, we're going to spray it with the VDL Expert Radiance Face Mist. This is like a matte-er face mist. Um, one that's not super matte because my skin just can't do super matte, but. Um... Okay, so here's the look, it's done. Uh, I'm still a little moist from my setting spray, but here you go, here you have it. If you guys like this video and would like to see more K-pop inspired makeup tutorials, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and comment down below so that I know. How else am I supposed to know that you like the video if you didn't like it? Don't forget to follow me on all my social media, all of which are Kenny JD, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. Um, thanks for joining me on this mess that is my tutorial. Okay, love you, bye. <laughs>